Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Ahak Dragon. In this video we're going to see 120Hz at 115 FPS locked versus 120 FPS because some people are recommending, including me, to lock the FPS to minus 5 the number of her maximum hertz you have in your display. For example, if you have 120 hertz, 120 minus 5, you get 115. Why do we do that? I'll show you in this video, so keep watching. So we're going to open up the Pendulum demo of G-Sync by NVIDIA. And as you can see here, if I zoom in, we have V-Sync and all other options. So I put it at G-Sync because that's what we want, DRR. And then I'm going to set the volume of the frame rate to something like 120. Uh, hold on a second. So yeah, as you can see here, if you go down here, there is something called FPS slider. When you click on it, there's something that uh, something shows up. And over here, you can set your value that you want. So let's say minimum FPS like 120 and then max 120 as well and we'll see what happens if we leave it at the same number as the refresh rate which is 120 hertz shall we everyone so i'm gonna play it in slow motion and you'll see all right now if we observe together you can see that while this pendulum moves you can see that there are screen tears all over the place in the circle. Just keep looking at it. Look at the bottom part of it. You can see that there are some weird line going on over there. And that we call it screen tear. And that's not good. So I guess we got to move on to the next one. Shall we everyone? Now, after seeing those screen tears, let's decrease the frame rate limiter to 115 FPS in order to hopefully stabilize the frame rate. So minimum 115 and max 115. Um, but actually only max is the one that matters actually. If it's 115, that's it. All right, let's play this in slow motion, everyone. Enjoy. Now, no matter where you look, since it's capped at 115 FPS at 120 Hertz with the G-Sync turned on, there is no screen tear at all. If, even if you look at the bottom part of the pendulum or anywhere else, it's clean and smooth as it should be. And that's the best way to play games. Oh, and let me address one thing. You might be like, oh, why did you set the minimum and maximum of the same value? Look, the frame rate is changing no matter what. So it is variable, right? And now we figured out that setting your frame rate below the 120 hertz or maximum refresh rate makes the gaming experience smoother. So do that and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. And I'll see you next time, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and ringing that bell and also like, comment and share. Thanks for watching.